Meet the Micro PC, a six inch laptop from Chinese hardware maker GPD. Now GPD isn't new to the sub notebook scene, having crowdfunded devices like the Win2 games machine and the Pocket 2 laptop. Their handheld gizmos have impressed many, but how does the cheaper, more modest Micro PC fare? I spent a week using one to find out. This pocket sized laptop costs around $400 and ships with Windows 10, but don't panic, an official version of Ubuntu Mate is thankfully available. Specs wise, the pint sized portable comes powered by a quad core Intel Celeron N4100 processor with integrated graphics, has 8 gigs of RAM, and a 128 gigabyte SSD, which is user replaceable. Despite its tiny size, this thing is stacked with I.O., joining dual band Wi Fi and Bluetooth 4.2 are three USB Type-A ports, a catch-all USB Type-C, full-size HDMI, gigabit Ethernet, and uh, a serial port. Now, the RS-232 serial port might seem like a randomly retro inclusion, but for business and industrial workers, this port never went away, it just got harder to find. Therefore, the Micro PC offers pros in the field, a powerful portable that's perfect for chucking in their bag as they dash off to save the day slash reboot an ancient shop display. That said, could this thing find a broader audience too? Hook it up to a monitor and wireless mouse and you've got a proper Linux desktop PC. Then, when needed, detach and go. This machine's biggest flaw is down to the one thing that makes it appealing in the first place, its size. Trying to be both small and affordable results in trade-offs that I don't think are worth it. For instance, the BlackBerry-style keyboard is obviously tiny, but GPD deepened the uncanny vibe by using an unconventional layout that's awkward to use. Therefore, the keyboard is best suited to short, concise text entry like entering web addresses and typing terminal commands. You could try to touch type on it, but you're gonna make a lot of typos, and hey, I make a lot of typos. Also, somewhat oddly for a laptop that feels like a smartphone in hand, the 6-inch display is not touch-enabled, and it can't flip, fold, or pull any of those trendy yoga poses either. The HD display is super sharp with bright vivid colours, and the Gorilla Glass 4 should make it hard wearing too. The built-in speaker won't wow your friends, so I'm pleased to say there's a traditional audio jack included. Another positive is the weight. I've had takeout Starbucks orders that weigh more than this thing at a mere 440 grams. What's the performance like? Well, pretty decent. Ubuntu Mate runs like a champ with no slowdowns or visual hiccups, and all of the micro PC's function keys are supported. The device happily suspends and resumes too. Bearing in mind that this machine is not aimed at gamers, the micro PC is surprisingly decent at gaming. Retro games run flawlessly and modest titles like Super Tux Kart cope well. It can handle some modern games too, like Team Fortress 2, provided you tweak the settings and or adjust your expectations. The battery life holds for around 6 hours in moderate usage, though the device does get hot if the built-in fan is disabled. In short, if you're in the market for a mini laptop modelled after the palm tops of yore, look no further than the Micro PC. This solid combination of price and performance with proper ports and first-rate Ubuntu support make it a minuscule marvel well worth buddying up with.